Okay, so uh, welcome to this first guide thing. Um, we're going to be just going through a couple of things in SPSS. First thing to bear in mind is that this SPSS that I'll be using um, probably looks a bit different to the one that you have in front of you. Um, SPSS has got a, undergone a number of changes in recent times, and this is the only version that will work on my computer, and it's a bit of an old version. So even though all the things up here you know, might look a bit different, um, there's no need to worry about that because the same basic things are going to be going on exactly the same. Okay, so let's start by putting in some data. So 18, 18, 19, 20, and 38. Okay, because we just started binding, binding everything in, um, you'll notice that it's given it a default name of var quadruple zero one, um, which in and of itself isn't really that helpful. And so what we do is, because we're in data view at the moment, we just kind of want to move on down bottom of the screen and we go to variable view. Okay, so in variable view you can see that the name of the variable is been selected over here. And all we then do is double click on that, select the stuff, and then change var quadruple zero one to age and press enter. Okay, so then we go back to data view. You will notice that age has now replaced var quadruple zero one. Alright, so the next step is basically just to look at the schema simple total of these values. Um, to do that, we go analyze and then descriptive statistics, and then we see that there's these three things here frequencies, descriptives, and explore. They tend to give very similar stuff, but um, for now, what we want is descriptives. Uh, it can get a bit confusing with descriptives between them. Okay, so when you do that, there's a little window like this called descriptives, it'll open. You see your age variable pop up there. So, all you need to do is whack across age like that, and then you go cost options, get a little window like this, and you'll see that by default quite a lot of them have been selected, um, but because we want ketosis and schemas as well, all we need to do is click those two, and then press continue. Okay, that will return us to this first box, um, which we can then check again, and then all we need to do is hit OK. And that's it, so then it does its business, and then we get this in our output window, which again is a separate window, um, and then it gives us the script statistics, so we've got all the basic stuff like the minimum, the maximum, the mean, always useful to check your data um, if you're doing an experiment and you've got like weird numbers going on and things aren't quite right. N is another good one when you know you've got 20 participants and it's telling you you've got 28, you've obviously done something stupid and got it wrong. But for now what we're looking at is the skewness and ketosis which are over here. So for the skewness it gives us a statistic of 2.186 and the ketosis of 4.184. Now no more here to worry about the skewness, which is saying 2.186, and because this is positive and it's greater than 2, that means our data is very skewed, and the ketosis is pretty high as well. So the, the whole shape of the, the, da the data um, is just all wrong, basically. Um, and so what we need to do is transform it somehow, um, which we'll be talking about in another uh, one of these little things. Um, but for now, what we can do is we can look at what it actually looks like, and to do that, you can go to Graphs, and then Legacy Dialogues. Um, one of the things that always confuses people is why in SPSS in the output window and the main data entry window which includes the data view and also the uh, column view um, you've got the same headings on all the top of both of them they work exactly the same way no matter how you access them okay so so now what we want to do is go to graphs legacy dialogues and histogram and just like when we were doing our skewness and ketosis we get another like, little window coming up and we grab age and we move it across to variable you can see it's appeared in there and then we all need to do is hit OK, and then it'll come up with our little histogram, which will just highlight it and there it is. So you can see from that that it's pretty skewed anyway, and um, so that's definitely a good idea to transform it. Okay, that's it for now.